everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we're going to begin as we begin every yoga session, sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed. Then we put our hands together at our heart centre and we say our magic secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. You ready? After three, one, two, three. Namaste. There. We're ready to begin. And today we're off to see Parsnip the cat. Now, Parsnip the cat is a very special cat. So let's get in a cat-like mood, coming onto all fours and arching our backs and looking into our belly buttons. Then we're going to dip our backs down and wiggle waggle our tails and make a happy cat sound. Meow. Then we're going to lift our backs up again, arching up and looking into our belly button. And then dipping our back down, wiggle waggling our tails and saying meow. Then just pretend to lick your arm because it's not very nice really licking your arm. We're going to clean our faces like a cat. Mmm, one side and then the other. Oh, that's better. And cats love to keep themselves clean. So we're going to give our ears a bit of a prod too. Using your finger and your thumb, give them a little pinch and a rub all the way round. Now, pussy cats, especially Parsnip, loves having her back scratched and loves rolling around on it. So come onto your bottom and give your knees a hug. And we're going to roll all the way down and all the way up in one meow. Ready? And again, meow. And last time, meow. That's better. Now, Parsnip also loves to get her tummy tickled. So putting your legs out nice and long, lie all the way back down and let your tummy be available for a little tickle. Oh, that's it, tickly tummy time. That's lovely. Now, Parsnip loves the sunshine. Cats love to sunbathe. So we're going to stand up and we're going to bring the sunshine out. We'll reach our arms to the sky and say, hello, sun. Then we're going to bend all the way forwards and touch the floor, maybe bending our knees and say, hello, earth. Then you're going to put one leg all the way back behind you and go beep, beep. Yes, put your hands flat, both feet behind you now and onto your tummies. And let's come up into a hissy, scary, snake, yay! Tuck your toes under, lift your bottom up to the air and let's say woof, 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 woof in our doggy pose. Lifting up one leg, that could be our doggy tail. Put your doggy tail between your hands and say beep, beep, yes! And bring your other foot back and say hello earth and reach up to the sun and say Hello, sun! That's brought the sunshine out. Now, Parsnip the cat lives in a very nice house, in a very nice street, in a very nice village, with her lady owner, Mrs. Webb. Now, Parsnip loves Mrs. Webb for three very good reasons. She loves the cuddles she gets from Mrs. Webb. She also loves the very comfy, cosy bed she sleeps in. Sitting on your bottom, feet flat, knees bent, hands behind your bottom, lift up into a bed shape. And she loves Mrs. Webb especially for the two delicious meals Mrs. Webb gives her every day. Mmm, rubbing a hand on your tummy and patting your head at the same time. Yes! Now Parsnip loves playing in the garden and especially loves chasing the butterflies, bringing your feet together and fluttering your butterfly wings. What colour is your butterfly? Oh, let's look under this wing, shall we? One, two, three. <gasps> wow, what a beautiful colour. Let's look under the other wing. What colour do you think that one is? Oh, nice. Let's look under that wing. Ready? One, two, three. Wow, what a beautiful colour there. What about both wings? Shall we try? What colour do you think's under both wings? Oh, yes. Let's have a look. Ready? One, two, three. Whoop! Yay! What a beautiful butterfly. Now, Parsnip also loves to chase the birds, but the birds always fly away and give her a little tweet. 
tweet, 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 tweet. She also likes to see whether she can be hoppier and faster than a grasshopper. So coming onto your tummies, come all the way down and lift up one of your legs. Then you're going to use your other foot to try and hold that leg up like a grasshopper. And unfortunately, parsnip isn't faster than a grasshopper. But there is one thing. Parsnip's got a secret, a special secret. Every night after Mrs. Webb has gone to bed, Parsnip goes out of her cat flap, lifting one paw, two paws, three paws, four paws. Using her little paw tips, she tiptoes, tiptoes, tiptoes to the tree at the back of the garden, which she climbs using her sharp claws. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. She stands very still at the top branch, one foot on top of the other, hands together at your heart, grow your tree up tall, maybe open your branches and stand very still. Yes, and now let's go a bit higher. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Let's try it on the other side. The other foot down, hands together, grow your tree up tall and I wonder whether this time I might see if I can blow you down. Ready, everyone? <gasps> oh, you're still standing up. You're amazing at being a tree. Now Parsnip comes down the little ramp and walks into the field behind her house, still keeping very quiet where the moon is shining brightly. Now the moon is the same shape as Parsnip's eyes. Meaning, like all cats, Parsnip can see in the dark. Yes! And this is where we learn Parsnip's secret. Shh! Parsnip works in the circus. She's an acrobatic cat. Yes! And every night, our friend Oswald the Owl says hello. Tweet, 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 tweet. Parsnip goes into the back of the big top tent where she says hello to all of her little circus friends and some of them aren't so little including Ted the elephant sticking out your elephant trunk let's have a big <coughs> perfect then there's Morris the dancing monkey who loves Parsnip he loves jumping up and down as well ready <laughs> And there's Alice, who's a terribly posh horse. She likes to come round, looking her sequin sparkly self, and say... <coughs> then she lifts herself up, turns around, and comes down on the other knee. <coughs> and finally, there's Stan the rabbit. Stan the rabbit loves to bunny hop. So coming onto all fours, press down into your feet, and then you're going to just hop and down, hop, and down. Yes, like a little bunny rabbit. Oh, I mustn't forget Leonardo the lion who loves to roar, ready? One, two, three. <sighs> oh, and then there's little Lulu, the lion cub, who hasn't learned how to roar yet, so just sticks her tongue out. Ready? One, two, three. Yes, all of these wonderful friends. Now, Parsnip had a very special thing to do tonight. She was going to go on the tightrope and she'd never, ever done it before. And so she was feeling a little bit nervous. She was mostly nervous about Meldrum the mouse. Squeak, 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 squeak. Meldrum the mouse was really naughty and always tried to distract Parsnip. And she just crossed every claw in hope that he wouldn't come and distract her tonight when she was doing her new act. It was time. Standing up, everyone, Parsnip trotted into the arena, smiling and waving at her audience. She was very good at smiling and waving. And then it was time for her to climb up the ladder to the tightrope. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. She got to the very top and she took three big breaths to get rid of her nerves. Crisscross your fingers, put them underneath your chin, big breath in and lift up your elbows and breathe out. And again. And last time. That's better. 
Now she was ready. She lifted up one little cat paw and took one step forward. <gasps> ooh, ooh. It was a bit wobbly, but she got her balance. Then she took one big step forward. Whoop, boing. And she got her balance. Yes, she was here and she was balancing on the high wire. She was going to do her clever trick for now. She was going to jump. Whoop, and do it the other way. Wow, all of the audience gave her a great big round of applause. Parsnip was feeling great and was ready now to try her juggling. So Morris the monkey jumped and threw three balls. Ready? <laughs> Parsnip caught all three of the balls and she began to juggle. But oh no! Coming up the high wire the other way was squeak, 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 squeak. Meldrum the mouse! Oh, that naughty mouse! Poor Parsnip looked at the mouse and looked at her juggling balls and concentrated very, very hard. Meldrum the mouse stood up put his hands on his little mousy hips and started going, Look at me, Parsnip! Look at me! Parsnip didn't know what to do. She jumped and turned the other way. Whoop! And carried on juggling. <laughs> Meldrum the mouse started to bounce up and down on the wire, making it go very very wobbly. Then all of a sudden he fell all the way down to the net beneath, holding onto his feet, calling, I'll get you next time, Parsnip. Oh, Parsnip was herself back on the wire, still juggling and was bending very deeply. But she managed to jump whoop, and do a big bow. Ta-da! She did it! She didn't let that silly mouse distract her. The audience gave her a great big round of applause. Parsnip took another bow, a well-deserved bow, and then trotted down the ladder. Down we go, down we go, down we, down we, down we go. She was then ready to go home, back to Mrs. Webb. She took off her sparkly sequin gloves and the other one and trotted out of the big top tent. She got back to her cat flap. One paw, two paws, three paws, four paws, and got into her comfy, cosy bed where she curled up like a little proper pussycat in her bed, happy and proud of herself for having managed something she was very, very pleased to have done. She closed her eyes and slowed down and thought for a few minutes about Meldrum the mouse who always tried to distract her but how good she was for not letting him for managing to keep concentration on her special juggling just relaxing now just see if you can let your body melt and spend a few moments, just a few seconds, in complete stillness. Slowly start to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and bring yourself up to sitting. With your legs crossed, Bring your hands together. And after three, let's say namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was so good. What a great story with Parsnip the Cat. I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again soon. Bye. Bye.